Good morning, my name is Kendall Rayburn and I am the State Medical Reserve Corps Coordinator and welcome to the Western Kentucky MRC. We appreciate your dedication to improving the health and safety of your community. One of the most important tasks to which we assist public health is mass dispensing efforts. This is when we provide medication or vaccinations to a substantial portion of the population in a short amount of time. We call this point of dispensing or better known as pod. There are many different tasks that may be performed during a pod operation and each position is equally important. My job as Situation Unit Leader is to collect, process, and organize ongoing situation information. I prepare situation summaries, develop projections, and forecast the future events related to the incident. I prepare maps, gather and disseminate information for the use in the incident action plan. I report to the planning leader. My job involves distributing forms to individuals and making sure they are complete and accurate before sending the person to the next station. I report to the dispensing operations leader. My job as a resource unit leader is to maintain information on the status, location, and availability of personnel, supplies, and major equipment to ensure availability during POD operations. I maintain a list of resources assigned and ensure staff readiness through just-in-time training and check-ins. I report to the planning leader. My role is food. It's my job in the food department to provide food and drinks for staff and volunteers who are working. I report to the logistics leader. I'm the liaison officer and I am the point of contact of representatives from the other responding agencies and I assist with documentation. I report to the pod task force leader. My job is communications and I make sure that communication equipment is working properly. I report to the logistics leader. My job as the planning leader is to organize, assign, and supervise the planning team. I ensure documentation and provide situational awareness briefings to the Department Operations Center planning section. I report to the POD task force leader. It's my job as interpreter to interpret forms and information to non-English speaking people. I report to the dispensing operation leader. Uh, I am the documentation unit leader. It's my job as a documentation unit leader to maintain accurate, complete incident files, including a record of the pod response and recovery actions and decisions. I provide duplicate services to incident personnel, file, maintain, and store incident files for legal, analytical, and historical purposes. I report to the planning leader. My job is medical dispensing and I dispense the correct medication to people in the pod. I report to the dispensing operations leader. My job as pedestrian traffic controller is to assist and direct people to the appropriate entrances and exits. I report to the security operations leader. Hi, I'm the pod task force leader. My job is to coordinate all the activities related to pod activation, organization, assignments, and to ensure coordination with the Department Operations Center, or DLC. I report to the DLC operations chief. My job is to perform triage. I greet people, identify symptoms in the individuals, and then I route them to the appropriate station. And I send those that are symptom-free to the entrance of the pod. And then I report to the dispensing operation leader. My job is in supplies and assuring that designated work areas are adequately stocked. I report to the logistics leader. Screening. It's my job to screening and review medication forms and determine which dispensing station to send individuals. I report to the dispensing operations leader. It's my job in medical evaluation to evaluate and counsel people referred by the medical screener to help determine the best medication for their needs and refer them to the appropriate dispensing station. I report to the dispensing operations leader. It's my job as safety officer to ensure the safety of staff and volunteers during pod activation. I ensure that the best practices are being followed and that there are safe working conditions. I report to the pod task force leader. It's my job as vehicle traffic controller to direct vehicle traffic flow and parking to the facility. I report to the security operations leader. My job is additional services. I assist clients and staff with counseling, support, and stress management. I report to the dispensing operations leader. My job is security operations leader and I organize, assign, and supervise security operations. I report to the POD task force leader. My job in observation is to monitor clients for symptoms following vaccination. 
It's my job as a runner to assist staff in logistics, maintaining clinic flow, collecting forms, and assisting those patients that need assistance. I report to the logistics leader. I'm the logistic leader, and I'm assigned to organize and supervise logistics communication, staff food and water, a safe work environment, and ensure resource needs are being filled. I report to the pod task force leader. It's my job as the dispensing operations leader to coordinate all activities related to dispensing operations during a pod activation. I organize, assign, and supervise dispensing operations. I report to the pod task force leader. Symptoms, headaches, chills, fevers? No, sir. All right, then we need you to go over to the forms table. Hello, Hi. good morning. Do you have any symptoms today? No, I don't have no symptoms. All right, well, I need you to follow this lady over to the forms okay. table. All right. Hello. 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 Do y'all have any symptoms today? We do not. All right, then I need to follow these people over to the forms table. Hello, sir. Do you have any symptoms today? Yes, sir. All right, I need you to follow this group over to the forms table. Hello, do you have any symptoms today? Headaches, fevers? No. Can you follow this group of people over to the forms table? Hello, sir. Do you have any symptoms, any fevers, colds, chills? No, sir. All right, I need you to direct you over here to this table over to the right. Good morning, good morning. Do y'all have any symptoms, fevers, headaches, chills? Can I direct y'all over to the line, over to the forms table? Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, how are you? Great, how are you? Good, good. Got a form for you to fill out. It's just simple information, name, address, phone number. Uh, and when you're finished with it, if you'll just turn to your right and go through the doors and then turn to your left. Okay. We will be taking you guys through the screen. Okay. Tonight, 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 you need to know the screening, please. Okay, right this way. Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I've got some paperwork to fill out if you don't care. Okay. Just general information, your uh, name, address, date of Registration form here, make sure you're okay, make sure they review the medical forms and determine which dispensing you need to go to. Yeah. Looks like everything is correct on here and you need to go to the dispensing unit right over here next door. Allergies to anything? Uh, no. Okay, can you swallow pills? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, well, we'll get you your doxycycline here Perfect. and that will tell you how to take it, okay? All right, thank you. This is an example of a drive through point of dispensing operation, also known as pod. Drive through pod operations can be a great alternative to walk through pods depending upon the population and the medication needed. 
These were used so much during the COVID-19 public health emergency, both to dispense vaccinations, but also to provide testing while optimizing social distancing. Good morning. If you Good morning. Put in here and pull to the first table and then put your car in park and then they will take care of you. Upon entrance to the pod, the driver would pull up to the first station, put the vehicle in park, and provide their information to the volunteer that is handling forms. Hello. Hello. All right, this is the form you will need to complete. So, name, address, date of birth, and then just check all the marks. And then once you do that, sign your name here and here. So this just lets you know that we will be putting your immunization record of the vaccine onto Kentucky Registry. Okay. So good. that means your family doctor can also see that online too. Clients would follow the traffic line to station two, which is screening. Place the car in park where the screener will review the form for accuracy, select the appropriate medication, and obtain any needed Hello, consent. How are you today? Good, how are you? Just fine. Do you have your paperwork? I do. Okay, and how old is the person being vaccinated today? 48. 48. And do you feel sick? Having any problems? Okay. Once the screener is finished, the client would pull up to dispensing station, put the vehicle in park, and prepare to receive the appropriate medication and any instructions. If the pot is for antibiotics, the client may obtain needed medication for themselves and their household members and then go to the exit. If the pot is for vaccination, the final station would be observation. The client would pull into the lane for observation, wait 15 minutes. The observer will keep an eye on the client during the wait for the sign of distress. Once the time has elapsed, the observer will assess the client for a reaction to the vaccine and either send the client to the exit or summon EMS if needed. <laughs>